On Saturday, a U.S. postal worker was carjacked and murdered during her regular workday. Turns out her killer had already shot a state trooper and went on to kill six other innocents, bringing the total number of Americans murdered by angry white men in the month of August to 53. All you have to do is look at his targets to determine his ideology. You'd think by now every law enforcement agency in the country would be investigating far right-wing extremism. But instead, we have Texas Senator Ted Cruz co-sponsoring a resolution that would label Antifa as a domestic terrorist group. So let's review the numbers. According to a report published by the Center for Strategic and International Studies, right-wing terrorist attacks more than quadrupled between 2016 and 2017. Gee, I wonder what else happened during that time period. The Anti-Defamation League notes that every extremist murder committed last year was linked to right-wing terrorism. The ADL defines Antifa as a loose connection of groups and individuals who believe in active, aggressive opposition to far right-wing movements. Pretty scary, huh? A bunch of hooligans knocking Nazi heads over the weekend and exposing them online. Meanwhile, far right-wing extremists not only are shooting up malls and schools and churches, they've infiltrated every echelon of power, from local law enforcement and corrections to the attorney general, chambers of commerce, legislative bodies, all the way up to the Oval Office. Certainly, a free society must tolerate speech that is disagreeable, hurtful, or offensive. But this doesn't mean we must give the benefit of the doubt to white supremacists who have shown time and time again that they don't want to debate those who disagree with them. They want to inflict violence on them. There's a body count to prove it. Have you ever noticed the wing nuts who demand their First Amendment rights to promote hatred and bigotry on college campuses are the same snowflakes who threaten journalists when they disagree with them? Poor misunderstood white supremacists chanting on the streets, the Jews will not replace us, and then go crying when counter-protesters show up to their Nazi parades. There's no reasoning with these people. All they know is how to intimidate and harass They'll throw out some unrelated statistic about minorities, usually made up, and then blame everything on President Obama. Oh, and by the way, I'm still waiting on that good guy with a gun.